every moment that I'm with the children is a breakthrough. We're like a family. It seems to sort of link us together. We're investing in our future. We're investing in the, in the lives of some really remarkable students. The world is your classroom. Horizons at the University of Mississippi is a six-week summer learning program, and we are focused on eliminating summer learning loss and improving um, student perception of school and learning and increasing student self-confidence. Education uh, it, throughout the summer is critically important. We need to uh, intervene. There needs to be intervention for some of our uh, more vulnerable students in our communities that don't have access to the same opportunities as others and, and we can step in and provide that opportunity. For them it's really cool to kind of see their eyes light up, you know, when we're walking around campus with all these big buildings and you know, going in the really nice cafeteria to eat and working with the sports teams and kind of that whole, their whole fascination with, for me, is, is exciting to watch them do that. That's probably my favorite thing about this age, when they read that, that first word and they realize that they did it and they did it all on their own, just the look on their face is just priceless. And it does, it gives me chills talking about it. I just, I love it. I think it's important that in Horizons that we address the students well-being from a holistic perspective um, and holistic meaning that we're looking at, at their inner well-being that's one thing that mindfulness does is to give us an opportunity to let the students explore their inner being their feelings and their emotions and then to help them learn how to regulate that in the classroom and then also take that home with them and use those skills at home with their siblings and, and with their caretakers. They won't always say that learning's their, <laughs> their, their um, favorite thing about Horizons. Um, they'll usually always say Swimming! About swimming. And, and I got the longest swim lesson I can die. Last summer with the different teams, uh, you saw a huge increase in their confidence level. Um, they became, and it was amazing and unexpected for me. I'd never noticed that as a teacher really in the regular classroom. Um, but last summer I saw, you know, students who didn't want to try anything new, who didn't like to be in front of other people, didn't like to challenge themselves, and, you know, by the end of the summer they were jumping off the high dive, you know, in the swimming pool. But when it comes time for her to go to the deep end of the pool, she was not jumping off the diving board. And so, you know, we took baby steps with her, and eventually she did, you know, jump into the deep end. I'm just really amazed because I really believe that Horizons helped her come out of that shell. It means a lot because he also, personally, I think he learned more communication skills too. Um, because it would hurt for him to come home and tell me certain things. He would be so attached to like this one particular child and I would always try to tell him, you know, you have to try to meet new people or give someone else a chance to be your friend or try to be a good friend to them. But it's this one little boy at the very beginning of school that no one would play with. No one would really talk to him. He was new. And Caleb, like, he was like, you know, I was, mom, I didn't want to not play with him and not talk to him and not be his friend on the playground. So they're like really, really good friends now. So he kind of went from being that child that wanted to be around, yeah, like I need someone to where he, now he's kind of like, okay, you can be my friend. We'll keep doing this until we are fully executing uh, nine grades. So we'll continue to need um, the support from the community and outside the community to see this incredible program work because we're invested in our future.